Yeah, I, so I'm still going through it, trying to get all the stuff in there. I finally just got my contacts in there. Thank goodness, because I knew I didn't have that many. I only uh -huh. had 27. Uh -huh. But I had to add them all one by one in order for them to take them. <laughs> Dang it. Dang yeah, it. because they were like, no, you have to set up an email through your website. And I'm like, dude, they were charging me 80 bucks a year for that email. I'm like, I'm not going to pay $80 for an email. <laughs> for through who? Through uh, GoDaddy. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't need that. That's what I said. And so I was like, I'm not going to set it up again and pay for it again. I'm like, no. <laughs> but as far as like the actual file, like you couldn't just upload it? No, they wouldn't let it. No, because they, they still wanted verification sent Yeah, that's to... the thing about lists. And it's yeah. not a Kartra thing. It's actually a canned spam or can. I don't know the damn, um, let me see. Let, let me get the right name for it. It's, I think it's called can, C-A-N-N, -N, can, yeah, can, is it can spam? Yeah, can spam compliance. Oh, this is yeah, like, they said it was a, just to be sure that I was legally obtaining my things. And I'm like, yeah, but I just, I didn't get them from that email or that website. So I'm like, I don't know what you want me to put in here. <laughs> Actually, no, this is for porn. This is something different. Oh. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> but it's actually can, can't, can spam. Um, no, that's, no, that's pornography. Hmm. It's an email. It's an actual email, um, like, like, like law. Um, and it's, and it's their policy. So it's not a, it's not an email provider policy. It's an email, like law type of thing it's a spam thing. So that's why whenever you take a list and upload it into a different provider, that provider has to abide by the can spam law. And those emails need to be legit and they, they need to be verified and they need to be the, they need to be the, the owner has to be the one who actually solicited those emails. So it's, it's a headache. Like it's a headache trying to bring over a list, but how many did you have? Like, did you have a lot? Or 27. Oh, okay. Well, shit. I mean, yeah. So I just, it was like, whatever, I'll just input them really quickly more. and no big deal. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Good, good thing. It wasn't more than, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't terrible. Okay. So the whole, so how far did you get with Karcher? Did you get any pages up or did you get any, 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 any like any, anything else? Or was it just the list that you started with? No, just the lists. Okay, and perfect. I got a very brief, like uh, like tag or category thing. And that was as far as I got. Okay. And Perfect. then, yeah. And then I got hung up on the whole pixel thing and I was like, well, I don't know if I should be uploading stuff or doing, yeah. but yeah, I was just like, I don't know what I need to do next. So it just, it just comes down to like your overall goal because the, the whole funnel, like I have it already done for you. Like I can, I can send you an entire sales funnel, um, focused on either, either sellers or buyers. Like I have funnels for listings and, and open houses and all that too, but the real, real, real main kind of nuts and bolts of the of, of an overall Facebook ad campaign you want it to be either focused on buyers or sellers because every now and then you'll have a listing every now and then you'll have an open house but if you can stay consistent by putting out an ad every week and focused on on capturing leads like like not necessarily a listing or an open house but capturing a, a seller or capturing a buyer and that happens through taking them through a funnel that help that happens by giving them something of value for free so for example this page right here this this friend of mine i'll show you the entire funnel um but sh what she's doing in fact let me take you let me even take you straight from the beginning let me show you her page so what she's going to be doing is she's going to be running weekly ads educating people and the first ad let me just show you the first first one mm -hmm. the first one was a video and she ran this one like i think like last week or maybe maybe even a couple weeks ago um, but this is where it started. So now let's just take it from the beginning. Step one, all the links are, are looking good. Step two, even on your page, that like count went higher. So now, and this is where, where, where uh, Becky is at as well. So step two, her like count is up. Now step three, now we're talking weekly ads. So that's where she's at right now. So Becky, she's literally just a, maybe a step ahead of, of where you want to be. Okay. So, yeah, so I think I started following her. <laughs> Awesome. So, so showing you kind of where she's at will, will help kind of guide you. So what she's doing now is actually, this was a day ago. So let's go down to, um, let me just show you the very first video. So, th so looking at it from a, from a, from a four week type of campaign, one, 
one ad per week. This is where you want to be. The first ad that she put out, the first video was a simple video of her introducing herself. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I don't know how comfortable you are with video just yet, but I'm telling you, Kristen, you can do it. Like you, you can do it. Like I'm telling you, if you, do you fear it at all? Do, are you camera shy at all? So I'm not really camera shy. So I just filmed my very first one. I posted awesome. it, I, but I didn't awesome. run the ad yet. Awesome. It took me about four takes though to get it. Good. That's right? fine. Because what happened was I would rehearse it in my head. Mm -hmm. In my head, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go to film it and all of a sudden my brain would blank and I'd be like, uh, uh. was that the intro <laughs> video? I was like, crap. <laughs> I kept flubbing the video. <laughs> was that the intro video? Yes, the intro one. So I finally awesome. got it filmed. Awesome. So you can take a look at it and give me your. We will. Perfect. Perfect. So then that's what she did, did over here as well. So four weeks ago, now, and she ran it for two weeks. But so two now weeks. she's running her second video starting today. And that's what I'm in her account. I'm actually helping her um, install the pixel and all that stuff. But do um, you run it for two weeks straight or do you run it as two separate like week ads? Good question. She actually turned on the ad and let it run and let it and she let it run, run for 14 days. Okay. So it, it, I mean, it could be seven days. It could be, it could be a little longer. She wanted it to go a little longer cause she didn't, she didn't, she went on vacation and she didn't have her second video ready for the second week. So she's mm -hmm. all, okay, David, just run the intro for a couple weeks. And when I get back from vacation, I'll do the second video. And that's kind of where she's at now. Okay. Doing the second video. But my point is, is that she's focused on one thing and that's selling. Yeah. So, so Definitely. she'll be educating people in short form video, two minute video, educating them on little pieces of what it takes to sell, you know, different benefits, different things you want to do to your house, you know, renovating, maybe your kitchen, maybe your, maybe your landscaping, maybe adding solar, what type of value that, that would do to your property. If you were to add solar, little things like this, when it comes to selling someone's house, she's educating in, in, in short form video. And then at the end of that video, her, her whole call to action is to tell people to click learn more. So she'll be saying, hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free step-by-step -step guide to selling your home. Okay. And so her whole pitch is around giving away this seller guide. And so as they come here, they click on that. They enter their name and email, send me your free guide. And now that person's on her list. And so in Kartra, um, those, leads would, those leads would be receiving emails through over here, My Communications. So that's My Communications. This is the email autoresponder. So right here, as people opt in, they're on that list. As that, as that list become, um, um, as emails start to drip, that's the sequence. So in the sequence, let me show you what the sequence looks like. So the sequence is a handful of emails that are gonna be going out every other day. Um, and, and it can go for as long as you want, but I think she just set up maybe five. I think she has one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the moment they download the seller guide, the next day she's sending out this email. And what she's doing is she's actually doing more video. So when you go into the email, let me, um, in fact, let me, let me just show you when you go into the email, all she's doing is, is, is she wrote a little bit of text, but then she's also telling the person to click and, and that person, watch, let me just show you. So I hope this email finds you well in this video. I touch on how we customize your marketing plan and what strategies will work best for you. So, so right here, we click here to watch the video. In fact, let me just open this up and show you. And then it takes that person to another Kartra page where all she's doing is educating them even more, like telling them, telling them what kind of marketing plan she would be able to put together to help them sell their house. And then at the end of this video, her whole call to action is to get them to click to schedule a call. And mm -hmm. so if you can imagine, she has a handful of emails that are going out. Email number one, two days later, Another email goes out and now she's on video. It's taking them back to the same page, but with a different video. And now she's on video for two minutes talking about the importance of open houses. And then, and then the third email, she's talking about what it, what it come, you know, what, what it takes and what, you know, what happens when it comes down to pricing your home. 
you know, and then, and, and that, and then a, a little bit of text and then boom, it takes, takes that person to another page where it's her on video again. And the whole call to action is to click to schedule the call. So she has five emails set up right now. You can take that to 10, 15 emails. It doesn't matter, but um, those are all pre-written. That's kind of the legwork. Like it took her maybe, it took her maybe, in fact, to tell you the truth, I think she's still within the 14 day trial. Okay. So I think she was able to knock all this out. And, and, and it's really because I have the template. Like I already have the whole entire template. Like when you look at, at this, you got, you got the landing page. When they opt in, they go to a thank you page. Then here's email number one. Here's email number two, email number three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then as they go and schedule a call, click here to schedule a call. It takes them straight to the calendar where they can schedule a call. And when they schedule a call, then they go to this call confirm page. So as far as the pages, there's six, seven, eight pages. And then the entire email sequence, I have all that to just give to you on a silver platter. All you have to do is just go in and obviously re rewrite out the email. But, but what's so powerful about this, Kristen, is the fact that you have the ability to automate the entire thing and mm -hmm. educate people via video, which allows you to really leverage it all. Mm -hmm. which which takes none of your damn time like yes this part up front will take your time like it took i mean to tell you the truth i mean for her to do all these videos i swear i mm -hmm. i mean she yeah. probably pulled her hair out but at the same time when you really condense the time it probably took her literally a couple days okay like so this is not like a you know 90 day plan like this is this is stuff that can happen within this 14 day trial that you're on you know, Perfect. and, and, and I already have all of it already done. You just got to now, now, again, this is someone that, that goes on video. Not everyone's comfortable with video, but I just think that you branding yourself on video to your local market is all it's about. Yeah. Like if you can, and, and that's why with video, a lot of people are uncomfortable or they're shy or whatever, you know, and, and, and they have their own, own insecurities. And I truly know that those come from us thinking what other people are going to think especially, you know, people that we know, like our cousins, our friends, our girlfriends, a lot of us, even though you may not admit it, our insecurities on camera or stuff like that come from what we think our friends are going to, are going to think about us. When it comes to these videos, none of our friends are even seen it. When it comes to the videos that you're going to start putting out on Facebook and targeting your local area, none of your Facebook friends are even seen it. It's going to a completely cold market. It's going to people that live in your area that don't even know you. Mm -hmm. So as people start to start to come to your landing page, these are people that don't know you. They live down the street. Yeah, but they don't know you. So it's not like I'm running ads to my friends. It's not like, it's not like my in-laws are going to see my video ads. They're actually probably not. Right. You know, unless they live in the area, obviously, if they live in the area, because I'm targeting the area, but as far as like any, any of your random Facebook friends that are on your personal page, like maybe friends that you have that live in different areas, but you actually know them, they're not even going to see your videos. Yeah. So you're educating a completely cold market, people that don't even know you yet. And, and, and I'm telling you, because you're a licensed professional, people already put you on a pedestal. They do. Like, you know more about this stuff than we do. So when you come from an educational point, when you come from, you know, putting out content to actually teach someone something, people listen, especially when it's someone that they don't even know. And, and it's someone that they keep seeing in their newsfeed over and over and over. Like it's powerful stuff, man. And, and when you can automate the entire thing with this type of email automation, it's like you have, you'll start having people schedule appointments. You'll start having appointments daily. And you haven't even lifted a finger. All you did was put out one Facebook ad and you did that, you did that seven days ago. Mm -hmm. You know, so this takes out literally the legwork. It takes out the legwork of having a door knock or a cold call or, or even send out direct mail because direct mail is not cheap. No, it's not. You know, <laughs> that, that's, that is somewhat leverage. I buy addresses. I send out pieces of mail and people call me. That is somewhat leverage, but that's junk mail. No one cares about your junk mail. Way more people are throwing it in the trash and it's not cheap. Yeah. So I got to put, I'm going to have to either put my money somewhere or I'm going to have to put my time somewhere. And it's like, dang, with everything, like 
I don't know where the heck we're headed with this whole lockdown crap, man. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how real estate agents are going to be able to go out there and network like they used to like shake hands, kiss babies and go to these different events. Like those aren't even happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to, we have to narrow it in and, 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 and get online, you know, but, but do it the right way. And it's, it has to be a Facebook ad. Like there's no other way you're going to get the attention of your local audience. Right. You know? So it, it, so, so with that being said, it just comes down to your budget. Like, do we even have a budget to, to start running ads? Yeah. I'm going to try to do a hundred a week right now. If you can do a hundred a week, you're going to, you're going to crush it. Like you would, you don't even need that much to tell you the truth. You need, that's 400 a month. You need, you need about, you need a minimum of, you need a minimum of 300 a month, which okay. is 10 bucks a day. We can do that. Which is 70 a week. So if you can do that, you would crush it, like crush it, crush it. So, so here's what it is. The first one becomes the first the first ad becomes that intro. We got to roll that intro out. That, that, that ad, that runs for the first seven days. And then okay. after that, you're going to start doing videos on either buying or selling. And you're taking people to your landing page to give them a buyer guide or a seller guide. So it just comes down to what you want to, you know, which one, which are we looking for? I want to go for the seller's route for right now. Awesome. Awesome. That's perfect because I already have the seller, the whole seller guide funnel already done for you. Um, perfect. So I can easily transfer this to your account um, and you'll have the entire funnel. So do you have a seller guide or I have a ton of them that you can, you can take a look at. Do you have one? I, I don't have one. I think I added the, the link that you sent me or the little, I can't remember. It was something, it was one of the emails and it said, add this seller guide. So I think Perfect. I added it to the Kartra. Okay. But it wouldn't let me edit it. Yeah, because and it's it's branded to probably a different agent. I don't know if it's a general generic mm -hmm. seller guide, right? Is there someone's face on it or someone's name on it? I didn't see anyone's face on it, but I could be wrong. Okay. Um, if there's no face on it, then that's that's perfect. But but at the same time, we kind of do want to put your face on it. Right. I want to make it mine. <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to brand it to to you. And here's here's a good site. Like, are you familiar with this website, Fiber? No. Okay, this website is amazing because it all this is 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 like ghost writers, designers, like people that will actually write a book, <clears throat> like write a book for you, people that will edit your PDF, people that will edit your document, people that will design social media graphics, people that will design your business card. So many different um, um, people to hire are on this, and all these professionals live in different countries. So I can literally take that seller guide, find someone on here, and have them completely rebrand it with your face, your color, your contact information, and they'll completely rebrand it to you for like ten bucks. Oh, okay. Because it's someone that lives in a different country that obviously the dollar goes further, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Like, let me, let me see if I can find one. So if we go into, let's see, writing and translation, script, script writing, um, let's go graphic and design. Let's see if we can find someone here. So flyer design, brochure design, poster design, um, packaging, book design. Um, There's definitely one in here. I know there is. Let's find. Um, so Photoshop design. Let's see. It'd be print design. It, we could probably reach out to someone that is um, either flyer design or brochure design. But let me look under writing. So under the writing, we have, yeah, book and ebook writing. It would it would be it would most likely be that one. Um, let's try, let's try this one real quick. Okay. So let's go with, let's go with, like, let's spend no more than like, let's just look for an example, but let's just go from like 10 bucks to 15 bucks. Because we already have the PDF. I just need someone to redesign it. 
hire um, okay so i will write funny i will create let's go with service options Okay, so I will, okay, let's see here. Okay, room of children. Okay, I will write a short, I will ghost write. Um, yeah, I've used this site, uh, a million times i need to just find the one that i want and just keep that person i always end up using different ones and then i end up having to search for that person i used before um i will ghost right actually you know what let me let me check my previous orders let me see if i can because a lot of the orders i did was for was for design so all i need someone to do is redesign there's the social media stuff there. Yeah, so design all link. Okay, so this. Mm -hmm. um, social media. Yeah, perfect. So this, this one right here that I, let me see if I have a different one. I profess, okay, so my, yeah, so this one, this one right here. So I spent 12 bucks and this guy, yeah, perfect. Okay, so this this guy right here, he actually redesigned. Um, he redesigned an ebook for me, and he did it for twelve bucks. So I will write business ebook bestselling. Okay, actually, no, he wrote he wrote one for me. So this was for an insurance one. Mm -hmm. So just like you have a seller guide or a buyer guide, this guy with insurance, he had some type of insurance guide, and this guy wrote me. This person here wrote me one for twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. So, um, so actually, that might I don't need someone to write. I need someone to, to redesign. Um, okay, so this one right here, this guy, he designed my um, my graphics for my actual training course. So he did a lot of these designs right here. So this, this, this dude right here. So I spent, it was 20 bucks, but then I ended up, but it, but this company Fiverr, they charge two, you know, $2 fee or whatever. So it comes out to 22 bucks. But what I can do is I can take whatever seller guide and just, and just get a quote mm -hmm. and I'll just, I'll, I'll send it over to him. This will be our guy. So if anything, 20 bucks, okay. I'll have this guy redesign that seller guide to brand you. Okay. So your headshot, your contact information, <clears throat> that will all be on, on your, you know, on the seller guide. So I think that would be worth it for sure. Mm -hmm. That'd be worth it for sure. But we're not there just yet because here's what I want you to do. I want you to roll out that first intro video, okay. let that run for seven days. And so here's this whole strategy with that. This is what Becky did, right? She rolled out the intro video. She, she did it for a little longer, but she got over 7,000 people in her local area to view it. And so that right there becomes her target audience. 7,000 people that live down the street saw her video. Now, as she rolls out video number two to get people to now opt in, she retargets, she continues to target her local area. So she's in, she's, I forgot what city she's in in Florida, but she's in Florida. So she'll continue to target week number two. She'll continue to target that local area, but she also is going to be retargeting those 7,000 people. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so as you put out these videos every week, you start to get thousands of people to see them. And every week you're simply, every following week, you're simply retargeting all the people who watched last week. And before you know it, the people that are watching your stuff continue to see your stuff. And that branding gets people to know you, like you, and trust you. And before you know it, they're opting in, downloading your seller guide, scheduling appointments with you. Okay. So that's something you want to you do for sure. So 
it's going to just come down to the whole Karcher side. Like I got you, like I got you on that whole side. Like I can help you as much as you need me on, on the whole Karcher side. Okay. Um, it's just learning the Facebook ad side. Like how much do you know the Facebook ads? Cause that's a whole nother beast. Um, only a little bit. Like I run an ad through there, but I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of it. So one thing you're going to have to do, like this is stuff that I, that I actually coach on. There's really two options for you. Like I can literally, and, and we'd have to schedule the calls for this, but I can literally teach you how to do it all yourself, mm -hmm. or you can literally have me just do it for you. It's whatever you know, is easier for you. No, whatever is, I mean, whatever is easier for you. Cause I mean, it, I, I don't know if you have the budget to really bring on a marketer. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> what I, what I normally do is I normally charge, like, we'll just start at norm at, but it's still not the cheapest, but it's still, I mean, it's, you're not going to have anyone else charge that as cheap as this, but I normally start at 500 a month to run these ads for you. So at 500 a month, I'll run the Facebook ads for you where you don't have to worry about a damn thing. And I'll run the entire cartridge side. So you don't have to worry about it, any of that either. Okay. I'll but probably not every, hold off on that part for a little bit. What's that? I'll probably have to hold off on that part for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'll have to coach you on that. Okay. I'll, I'll have to coach you on, on learning the Facebook ads. Okay. So that's where we have to schedule a handful of coaching calls. And that's a whole coaching program that I have as well. So it's either I'm going to have to take the time and coach you these on these calls, or, or again, you just delegate it to me. But <clears throat> if we don't have the budget to delegate it to me, we still have to schedule a, a few coaching calls <clears throat> or you can, or I can just direct you and you can kind of learn these steps yourself. Cause really it's just, it's just knowing, knowing what to do first on the ad side. And you, I mean, I have YouTube videos on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just, learn through YouTube. I can direct you through my YouTube videos and you can, you can learn that way. Okay. Um, whatever's, whatever's best for you, because I normally I'll, I'll have to charge on these coaching calls as well. Cause we, what I have set up is five calls. There's five, actually there's four things. There's four. It's really, yeah. I mean, it's really four things. There's four calls that I have set up and they're hour calls. And normally I'll charge an a hundred an hour because it's, it's time consuming. And, and it's the most important. So, but I can give you these four topics right now and you can just, you can find them on YouTube or, or I can just send you the YouTube videos and you can, you can learn these four things, but write this down because this is what you have to do on the Facebook ad side before you start running videos. Okay. Um, number one is, is you have to, you have to set up your Facebook pixel. Like that's the most important. The pixel goes on all of these pages. So like even right here at the top, this is how you know a Facebook pixel is on this page is right here at the top, Facebook, in fact, you can just, you can install this, it's free, but it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. And all this does is it sits up here at the top, see how it's grayed out right now? Mm -hmm. Because there's no pixel on the page. So it's grayed out. So it's, it's showing no pixel found on google.com. There's no pixel on this page, but anyone that has a web page, if they're running ads, even if they're not running ads, if they know the importance of, of Facebook, they'll have their pixel on their web page. So this right here simply sits up here at the top and it'll light up whenever you're on anyone's web page. So it gives you the ability to know if someone's tracking you through Facebook, which it doesn't even matter. I mean, they don't know your name and number, so it's not a privacy issue that you need to be concerned about at all. It's just the fact that that website, like if you're looking at shoes, if you're looking at perfume, if you're looking at hair product, if you're looking at freaking lotion, whatever, any random website that you're on, chances are they have their Facebook pixel tracking you because they're probably running Facebook ads. And, that's, and this thing will be lit up. But right here, you can tell that it's grayed out, but this is what you, you can install. And the only reason why I install it is not to, not to care who's tracking me. I don't care about that. I, I have it installed so I can, so I can test my pages. So whenever I add my pixel to my pages, I can look at here and, and, and know that I installed it the correct way. So for example, on Becky's page, this is her, her Kartra page. The pixel is on it because now this thing lit up blue and now we see the number two. So if I click on it, it shows me right there that Becky 
is tracking me with her Facebook pixel. Oh, okay. So this right here, the reason why this is so important is because as you start to run ads, like let me just show you from, from an actual ad. As we're scrolling through the news feed, and I'm just kind of seeing what everyone's posting, see what my friends are doing, and then I, I come across a sponsored ad. Look, when I click on learn more, let's see if they're tracking me with a Facebook pixel. Look, right now it's shaded gray. Hmm. There's no pixel on, on Facebook, obviously. They're not, you know, they already know that, <laughs> that I'm here. They don't need to track me with a pixel. But when I click on learn more, if I click on learn more on any ad, let's see if they're tracking me. There it goes. It lit up. Yep. So the reason why this is so important. So look, Facebook pixel, this is their pixel ID. They're tracking who views the page. The reason why that is so important is because as people start to see your ad and they click on learn more, you're going to have X amount of people that come to the page. They land here, but they don't opt in. Maybe they were driving, maybe the kids are screaming in the background, maybe the food is burning on the stove. So many things happen, right? Where they'll come to the page, but for some reason they didn't opt in. Now, obviously the ad got their attention to at least click. They came here because they were at least somewhat interested. They just didn't fill out the form. That becomes a custom audience, which is number two. So number one is Facebook Pixel. Number two is knowing how to create your Facebook custom audiences. This person, like me, for example, I land here. They had their Facebook pixel tracking me. They, they also have me now in, I would assume they do. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and, and assume that they do. They now have me in a quote unquote Facebook custom audience, meaning when they go run ad number two, they're going to be able to retarget everyone who is in that audience, everyone who landed here but didn't fill out the form. They'll be able to show me their next ad because they're tracking me with a pixel and they have a Facebook audience set up, a Facebook custom audience mm -hmm. set up. So you're going to have people that land over here but don't fill out the form. But at least they landed here. I want to be able to track them. Now, you're not going to track them by name and phone number because, I mean, you know, it's not a lead, but you're tracking mm -hmm. the data. Facebook is collecting the data for you with yeah. your pixel. So, so now, as I run Facebook ad number two, I'm going to be able to retarget all the people who land here. Okay. So, number one, your Facebook pixel has to be on the page, so we got to learn how to install that. Number, number two, we got, to set up, we got to set up custom audiences so we know, we know who, who lands here and those who actually land. So as they opt in, here's why the pixel is so important. Here's why custom audiences are so important because as they come to the page, they come to this, let's go back. They come to the landing page, they click on the yellow button, they enter their name and email. They're then taken to what we call a thank you page and my pixel needs to be on this thank you page and this thank you page needs to be set up as a custom audience because as people come to this page we want to be able to categorize it in facebook as leads so anyone who lands on this page we're telling it to facebook anyone who lands on this page is a lead so that's, that's going to allow you to track your data inside of Facebook. You're going to be able to track it in Kartra as well because you can look in Kartra and look at your email list and know that all these people opted in. You can look at it that way as well. But on the Facebook site, as we're looking at our analytics in Facebook, looking at, okay, you spent 70 bucks this week, but how many leads came in? This is going to, this is going to be able to, to tell you. So we tell Facebook, hey, whoever lands on this page is a lead, track it. Okay. And so that happens with, again, number two, your Facebook custom audience. We're going to put all those people in an audience and, and that's tracked through Facebook. Now, the reason, another reason why that is so important is because now as you go run ad Facebook ad number three, you go run that ad, you're going to retarget everyone who landed here, but you're going to exclude everyone who lands here. 
Okay. Because they already opted in. So they, they don't need to keep seeing your seller guide ads. They're already elite. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why the pixel is so important. That's why custom audiences are so important because you need to be able to include in your future ads people who landed here or exclude your audience of people who landed here. Okay. Okay. Now, the third thing is custom conversions. So I have, I have videos on these three. Like, let me just show you where they're at right now. Like I have, I literally have videos on these three steps. So again, a person can either just come to my channel and, and watch these videos and do it themselves. But then there's some people that, that actually, you know, want me to hold their hand and walk them through it. And that's fine too. But that's just where I end up having a, having to end up charge because it's, it's time consuming for everybody. Right. Um, and that's kind of, that's, that's hardcore coaching, but at the same time, you can simply come over here. Let me show you which ones it is. It's, um, it's actually in my playlist. So if you just come to my channel, click on playlist. And if you click on, um, right here, how to run Facebook ads and you view full playlist. So it's how to run Facebook ads. It's this one right here. So it's right here. It's step one, step two, and step three. So step one is installing that pixel and I'm showing you how to do it with Kartra. So step one is installing that pixel. Step two is creating the custom audience. And then step three is setting up a custom conversion. A custom conversion is also based on the thank you page. So they come to the landing page, they opt in, then they, they then go to a thank you page. Facebook wants to know what that thank you page is. Number one, because we create a custom audience and that's what we call leads. But number two, Facebook wants to know as you run these ads, they want to know what your ultimate goal is. Like your ultimate, your goal is to get them to the landing page, but your ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page. Okay. They want to know your ultimate goal. And, and, and to do that, we tell them that, hey, our ultimate goal is to get them to the thank you page because whoever gets here obviously opted in. So this link right here needs to be set up as a custom conversion. And that's what I cover in step three. Those are the three steps. And again, normally I'll, I'll, I'll have the charge to, to, to walk you through that on your end because it's just, it's just time, right? Like I have to charge something for the time, but you yeah. can easily, if you can get through it, like you can easily watch these videos and, and do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. I'll try watching them. And then if so, I, I still can't figure it out, then I'll be like, all right, charge me. <laughs> if, I mean, that, I mean, that, that would be our last, you know, our, our, our last option, but I, I totally would love to do that for you. That's what I, I, that's what I ended up doing with Becky over here. That's why I'm, I'm in her account right now, still working on it because I'm just updating a pixel, but that's what she did. She thought, David, she thought, I watched your videos, but shit, I'm still confused. Like I need you to hold my hand and walk me through this. Yeah. And so that's kind of what she did is she just spent a few hundred and just actually, she didn't even spend, she, she, it wasn't even five calls with her. I think we just did, we just did two calls. We okay. did two calls, you know, she spent 200 and now she has all my time. And, and at the same time, I'm helping her with the Karcher site. All that is, is included. So I'm over here in her Karcher account, adding the pixel to all these pages. So it's totally up to you. If you want to just learn it on your own or, or just, you know, allow me to just walk you through it. I can, I'll do whatever you want. Okay. You know, so let me send you this link right here. Try to go through those. And if, and if you can't, then let's, let's jump on because right now, here's what you should do right now, right now, just work on, you already have the intro video, right? Let me, let me look yeah. it up real quick. All right. She is K R I. I N. <laughs> What's your business page? Uh, Kristen Gillardi Homes. Heart Homes. Perfect. See, I'm telling you, Kristen, if you can do videos like this, man, you're gonna crush it. It's just learning the learning the cartridge side real quick. But again, I have I I'm gonna send you all the templates. See, look. You're going to kill it, man. I'm telling you, you're going to kill it. If you can do this every week and run an ad to that area, 
-hmm. that whole city is going to know who you are. The whole town is going to know who you are. Okay. So, so the first step with this is to run it under video views. So if you just come over here to your Facebook, click on create, click on add. The very first one is going to be, let me, um, yeah. So if you click on add mm -hmm. that first one, I would run it for seven days, $10 a day and get a few thousand people to view it. That's the most important because then we now have a custom audience of those who viewed it. And then we retarget them with ad number two, three, four, and on. Okay. So as you click on that, as you come to your page, you click on create, you click on add right here. That's going to bring you to this part right here. Okay. And the very first one is video views. Okay. So that's the very first ad you want to run with that one. Okay. Video views. Try to get that, try to get that going. And if, and if you can't get that one going, then, then, then reach out to me and I'll walk you through it. Okay. Okay. But come to my YouTube channel and, and go to the playlist, the Facebook ad, how to run Facebook ads playlist, and then look for step one, step two, and step three. Okay. Those are the ones that you want to watch sooner than later. Yeah. But, but really to tell you the truth, that's kind of, that's kind of after the intro, run that intro video first. Mm -hmm. Um, and let me see if I even have, I'm pretty sure I do. Um, that one, run the video view ad first, and then you can, then you can learn how to do those steps one, two, and three. Okay. Um, I know I have a video. Yeah. See, so I have this one right here, this one right here, how to run Facebook video ads. There's that video right there that will walk you through how to run that first ad. Okay, got it. Start there. Start there. And 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 if you and if you still have some type of trouble, just let me know and and I'll and I'll jump on with you for sure. Okay. Okay. Um let yeah, do that first and then we'll focus on the cartridge side. Okay. Awesome. So so here's what I want you to do also. Do you have a link to my calendar? Uh no, I don't think so. It like should be, email, it but... should be in my, in the emails that I sent you, but okay. if you, if not, let me know because we definitely want to jump on some calls and there's no charge for that. I'll help you with all the cartridge side. The only part that I need to charge people on is, is a Facebook ad site. If they want me to coach them and walk them through it. Cause it's just time consuming. Right. Right. Like I'd be on free calls all damn day if, if, you know, if <laughs> I just did it that way, but that's the only part that I would have to charge people on is, is coach them how to run the Facebook ads or they can come here and just watch my damn YouTube videos. Um, or again, they can delegate it all to me and not even worry about it. Like, just let me do it. Mm -hmm. But if we're not there, that's fine. That's the Facebook side. But on oh. the Karcher side, you have all my time. Okay. So you have all my time for free. So, so let's jump on some calls. Like let's schedule some calls. Let me teach you how to run that Karcher side. Let me import these funnels for you. Like let me, let me coach you on just taking that whole funnel to the next level. Like I'll give you all my time for free on that one. Okay. Okay. So, so, um, run the video view ad first, try to get that done today. And yeah. then, and then just message me over the weekend. And then let's, let's talk, let's talk early next week about setting up because as that video view, as that ad runs for the next seven days. So why don't you do this message me when, the, when the ad goes live, Okay. when the intro video goes live message me, cause that's when we're going to want to schedule some calls for the next few days to learn the Karcher side. Because once that first video ad is done seven days, for example, that's when we want to run ad number two. And that's when Kartra, that's when this seller guide page is going to be, is going to be necessary. Okay. So I'm going to have to coach you and teach you how to, how to get this entire thing up. Okay. Okay. So we'll chat, we'll chat for sure early or mid next week. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Definitely. All right, Kristen. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Let me All know. All right. If you, need. you too. Okay. Chat soon. Okay. Bye-bye.